Hello again, everyone. Minoxi, this one's for you or anybody else who's struggled with public speaking. I'm going to try to keep this one a lot shorter than the last one. Because <laughs> what I hear is our attention spans down to like 30 seconds now at times with all social media and smartphones and all that. That may or may not be true. But so public speaking. Um, so performance anxiety. Hey, Minoxi, so glad you're here live. So that idea of like, oh, God, so. I, I often think what's behind public speaking is uh, it was for sure performance anxiety and being judged, being uh, judged. I mean, you're putting your butt up on stage or in front of people and you do, you can. Hey, I love that you're here. You can get judged and you could, you will, um, you know, not everybody's going to resonate, um, I think of different emails I've gotten for people, and I'm like, whoa, I don't even know this person. Oh, my God. <laughs> you bet, Manakshi. I love the requests. They really help. Um, so think about what, what here, flo, right now, if you need to close your eyes and imagine yourself. Sorry, I want to turn my mail off because I hear the freaking dinging, and that's annoying. Okay, that's off. So imagine yourself. You're in front of people. If it's video... If it's on stage, all eyes are on you. And tune in to the feeling that starts to surface. Anxiety, fear, confusion. <gasps> Am I going to freeze? What's your greatest fear behind public speaking? What, what's the deepest fear like? I'm going to be judged. Oh, what if I mess up? What if I make an ass out of myself? And um, I'm just, I'm going to go to the eyebrow and just start tapping on this. So go to the eyebrow. Whoo. I am really feeling this. I feel so vulnerable. Here I am, all eyes on me. I am putting myself out there, hey Dawn, to be judged. Judged to be good, judged to be bad, and anything in between those two. This is a vulnerable position to be in. I feel the anxiety, the fear, maybe even terror. Hey, Nadia, amazing public speaker you are. Racing through my nervous system. I am freaking out here. Everybody's looking at me. Everybody might be judging me. For better or for worse. I feel really young right now. I feel like a little kid who's fearing potential rejection. This is scary. This is where the rubber meets the road. I just want to honor my feelings. Honor my fear. And I'm letting myself know. That is all okay. Of course I'm afraid. Hey, Marsha. I am putting myself out there. In a vulnerable place. And my little kid gets activated. 
maybe times in the past when I was publicly judged, publicly humiliated, are racing through my brain. But here's the thing. I want to let myself know I'm up here doing this. That takes some courage to feel this kind of fear and do it anyway. I am just letting myself know any emotion that surfaces around this is totally okay. But I'm tuning into this vulnerable kid in me that's so afraid of being judged. And I'm letting that little kid in me know I've got your back. You're putting yourself out there. It is vulnerable. And you've got a lot of courage and a lot of strength. And what if this is a divine assignment too? This is calling up old wounding for me to heal and transform. Because I have a lot to share with the world. And I want to spread my wings and fly. And I'm letting myself know right now, it's all okay. And this is a process. And if I make a mistake, I can learn from that too. I'm just honoring all my feelings and I don't wanna make myself wrong for any of them. Cause they're mine and they're real and I'm willing to face them so that I can keep showing up as a better version of myself each and every day. And then take a breath. So, Manakshi, hope you found this helpful. Nadia, I have to call you out here. You, Nadia Brown, if, uh, Dr. Nadia Brown, she's an amazing public speaker, uh, incredible. And if uh, Michelle Voss is on here, she's a fabulous public speaker, too. Um, like, and, and I think everybody, anybody that's public, uh, done public speaking knows, yeah, it is nerve wracking. I mean, I remember the first time I did so much public speaking in corporate. I got so used to it. The first time I ever did a talk on EFT, I'm not kidding. My lips sucked back into my mouth. I was really like, I got really like, and my cousin and my husband were in the front row. My cousin's like, Oh my God, I, I just, Oh good. i actually glad. Oh my heavens. It is. Yes. Nadia. I was like, she's like, I just wanted to give you water. And I was like, I public speak so many times, but it was literally like my mouth got so dry. Like my lips were like, like, ugh. and I was like, and eventually I was like, oh shit. But it, it started to pass. And thank God I'd had tapping before that. So always tap right before, during, you know, if you can't during, you can't maybe do it during. I always find it's best to just admit the realness. Like, God, I feel nervous. And, and that always helps take the edge off. And Nadia, um, if you have any tips you want to share in this thread, please do. Michelle, if you watch this, share any tips. Um, you got masters here watching this of public speaking. And I can't speak for anybody else because I don't know. Um, so you can always ask them for assistance with this as well. Um, 
I can attest that they're both amazing. So that's it. Minachi, so glad you're here live. It's always fun to have your energy here. Marsha, um, anyone else? I, I, I can't always see who all is here. Maybe I can. Nadia, Dawn, Minachi, uh, anybody else. So thanks so much for being here. Have a great rest of your day or night, wherever you are. And we'll see you next time. See you tomorrow on Doubt. Bye.